All right, so in this video, we're gonna be going over some properties of vectors. Now this is gonna be something to see, uh, it's, it's gonna be something a lot easier to see algebraically rather than graphically, okay? And you can see them graphically too, these, these properties that we're gonna be talking about, but it's just gonna be a little bit easier to see it algebraically. So that's the way I'm gonna describe it, okay? The first property is that vector A plus vector B is the same thing as vector B plus vector A. Okay, and that makes sense, right? If vector A is one comma two and vector B is three comma two, well, that's equal to, you add the components of each vector, okay? One plus three is four and two plus two is four. You get four comma four. If you switch the order of things, three comma two plus one comma two, well, you're still adding up the components of the vectors. You get 3 and 1 is 4, and 2 and 2 is 4. Okay? So it makes sense for this to work. Next, we have A plus vector B plus vector C is equal to A plus B in parentheses plus vector C. Now this also makes sense, okay? Why does it make sense? Well, because we're literally just, it doesn't matter what order we add the vectors and just as matter, is it, it, it doesn't matter like if we do two plus three first or if we do three plus five first, okay? We still get the same exact answer, all right? And I'll even show you an example here. Let's say that we have one comma two plus three comma two plus let's say we have a two comma one. Okay, well, let's say that we're gonna do these first. Well, then if we do those first, what we get is one comma two plus three comma two is four comma four. We just did that. And that plus two comma one is gonna be four plus two is six and four plus one is five. All right, now also, we, if we did one comma two plus three comma two plus two comma one, and we did these ones first, well, that's the same thing as one comma two plus three plus two is five, two plus one is three. All right, and one comma two plus five comma three is, well, one plus five is six, and two plus three is five. So we get the same exact answer no matter in what order we add the vectors. Okay, the next property is also pretty obvious. Any vector plus the zero vector is just going to be that vector that you started out with, okay? Say that you have vector A, which, well, we've been saying that it's one comma two, so let's keep saying that. If you, a zero vector basically is just a vector that has no direction or magnitude. Okay, so it just has components zero. Now, if you add this through, well, one plus zero is one, two plus zero is two. So yeah, you get the original vector A. All right, next we have that A minus the, sorry, plus the vector negative A that equals zero, okay? Why does that equal zero? Well, here, let's, let's show you. One comma two plus a negative one comma two. Well, this is basically just a scalar multiplication, okay? We're multiplying by a negative one. So really, this is just a one comma two plus a negative one comma negative two. One plus negative one is zero and two minus two is zero. So you get zero, right? Now, let's do just one more before I erase the board here. We have C times vectors A and vector B added together is equal to C times vector A plus C times vector B. 
okay? Now, this also pretty much makes sense, right? This is just the same thing as, as it is with, with like numbers or something, okay? Just regular numbers. If you have a scalar, let's say we have three times one comma two plus, where is the other one? The other one's three comma two. Okay, this of course is the same thing as three times four comma four, right? You just add the inside and we get four comma four as we did up here. When we multiply that three through, we get 12 comma 12, right? So if we were to distribute that three first to each of these vectors separately, we should still get 12 comma 12. Let's see if that works. We have a three times one comma two plus we have a three times three comma two. Well, that's the same thing as a three. Sorry, not that's nope. Nope. Is a three comma six plus a nine comma six. And of course that is equal to twelve comma twelve when you add those vectors together, right? Three plus nine is 12, six plus six is 12. Now, our next property is that if you have two scalars being added together, and then you're gonna multiply that by A, that's the same thing as just distributing this vector through, rather than distributing the scalar through, which we did in the last problem, or in the last property. Okay, you can, you can distribute the vector through just the same. So if we have that C, let's say that C is equal to three. Okay, C is equal to three d is equal to 2, and a, vector a, is equal to 1 comma 2. Well, then we have on the left side, we would have that a, we'd have a 3 plus 2 times 1 comma 2. And that's equal to a 5 times 1 comma 2, which is 5 comma 10. All right? And that, that you know, that all makes sense. But if we do on, on this side, we do it separately, where we have a three times a, which is one comma two, plus d, which is two, one comma two. We have a three times one comma two, which is three comma six, plus two times this one comma two, which is two comma four, okay? We add these two together, we of course get five comma 10, which gives us back to what we had on the left side of the equation. Okay, so it shows you that you can multiply a vector through to two scalars. All right, next, we have that we can also multiply two vectors or two scalars together and then multiply by a vector and have that equal one scalar times another scalar times that same vector. Okay, so it doesn't matter the order of which we do multiplication. Okay, here's an example. Again, let's say C is three, D is two, and A is one comma two. Well, here on the left side, we would have a three times two times one comma two. That's equal to a six times one comma two Okay, three times two is six. And then we multiply that six through. We end up with a six comma 12. Right, just multiplying each component by six. Now what about the right side? We have a C times D times A, but we're multiplying the D through to the A first. So we have a three, and then we're gonna have two times one comma two being multiplied first. Now this will equal a three, times a two comma four. And of course, you're gonna have a three times two here, that's six, and a three times four, which is 12. So you get the same thing on the left as you do on the right. Okay, finally, for our last property here, we have that, believe it or not, one times the vector a is going to equal a. To show you this one, well, if it's not obvious already, we have a one outside and we have a one comma two. And you multiply one through, okay? 
that's still going to give you one comma two. So this has basically been all of the properties that we learned in elementary school uh, with, with uh, you know, that we used for numbers now applied to vectors. And you see that they basically all work. Okay, so that is going to do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for vectors and the geometry of space in the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.